Okay, so in this question, we know a company is going to increase or has increased the number of chocolates in the bag by 15%. The bag now contains 69 chocolates, and we've got to work backwards to find out what originally it had. So the best way of doing this is think about um, what uh, you would do if you were given the original amount, and then we just need to do the opposite of that. So. We first of all want to find out the multiplier, so we start off with 100%. We increased it by 15%, and we now have 115%. And we want to convert that to a multiplier, so 115% divided by 100 is going to be 1.15. So that's our multiplier. So the step you'd now do if you were given the original is you'd get that original amount, which we don't know, and you would times it by the multiplier. And you'd get the final amount, which we do know, which was 69. But we're given the final amount and we're trying to go backwards. And so what we want to do is do the inverse of this. The inverse of that is divide by 1.15 to find out what the original was. So we're working this way and we're going to divide it by 1.15. So I'm going to get my calculator out. 69 divided by 1.15 and it gives me the answer of 60 so there were originally 60 chocolates in the bag now you can then do 60 times 1.15 and check it works and it comes up with the answer of 69